the revolutionaries who transformed us from colonists into a nation were protesters. Protesters are not chaos. They're deeply American examples of values, a desire for this country to be at its best self. They're righteous, sometimes they're necessary. One of America's most beloved and effective protesters, John Lewis, lies in state a thousand feet from here in a deserved place of honor. And sir, your failure to respect the role of peaceful protest in this country is a disgrace, it's un-American, and it's important to remember what these protests are about. Black Lives Matter, abuse at the hands of police by black Americans, and I want to let you see now a video that fairly represents peaceful protest that is happening all across America that you conveniently omitted from your testimony and your statement. There was a nine-minute video shown by the other side, so I, it's not all nine. It's the only part of it. to respond to points made, questions asked, and attacks attacks made. Every not not just in this hearing, not just in this committee, but every committee I've been on. The so gentleman, the particularly gentleman, particularly when you think about the fact we got the Attorney General of the United States here. Gentlemen does not have the time. I don't want the time. I just want I want the Attorney General to be able to have enough time to respond to accusations and questions asked him and you guys not cut him off. What you want is irrelevant or irrelevant to the rules. Mr. Stubbe is recognized. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, am I going to get an additional two and a half minutes that Mr. Cicilline had? The gentleman is recognized. General Barr, thank you for your service to our country and your continued service to ensure that our country is safe. I encourage you to ignore the mob, these attacks from Democrats and the left-wing biased mainstream media. Be strong and courageous. For the mass majority of the country supports you and supports you rooting out corruption in the FBI and keeping our country safe from rioters, looters, and anarchists. I, for one, am very happy that you're at the helm of the DOJ and actually supporting the rule of law and fighting for justice. I want to touch on something that Mr. Jordan spoke about in his opening remarks. I want to focus on the Inspector General's December 9th FISA report on the FBI's unlawful surveillance of Trump campaign associate Carter Page. Isn't it true the Inspector General found the FBI under the Obama-Biden administration made 17 significant errors in FISA applications to surveil candidate Trump's campaign associate, Carter Page? I think that's right. How many errors are acceptable when the FBI is targeting Americans? Well, none are acceptable. Then there was the complete Woods Files failures the FBI operated under during the Obama Biden administration. The Inspector General found that 51 factual assertions in the FISA applications to surveil Page, one, lacked supporting documentation, two, the supporting document did not support the FBI's factual assertions, or three, the supporting document showed the FBI's factual assertion was inaccurate. The Inspector General testified there should not have even been one error, yet he found 51 errors. Why is it so important for surveillance targeting Americans to be error-free? Well, especially under under FISA, which um, 
you know, is a counterintelligence tool and doesn't have the same built-in protections that the criminal justice process would have. It's very important because you're going to be spying on Americans that you have, an, uh, you know, you've demonstrated an appropriate basis for doing that. And uh, therefore, there's a special burden uh, on the investigative agency, in this case, the FBI, to have accurate information as to the basis of their surveillance. And, uh, you know, I think the Bureau is, has been working very hard to correct those problems and to put in place a much more uh, effective system of guaranteeing that the information is accurate. Isn't it true the FBI under the Obama-Biden administration cherry-picked favorable evidence to obtain a FISA warrant to surveil Carter Page and ignored facts that cut against probable cause? Well, I don't want to characterize it. I mean,